I have some disturbing NBA 2K25 or NBA 2K26 or NBA 2K27 news. They're really trying to take away the game you love. This, this, this video, what I'm finna tell y'all and break down to y'all, they really trying to milk you, dog. They talking preset builder the future. You no longer have control over your my player that you want to create. You're gonna have to buy these template builds. Free to play 2K. You know they do that. They're gonna get you another way. They're gonna have complete control over your animations. And they're gonna do you like the my team. How they put out these 99 cards every season or every now and then. They're gonna keep putting out template builds like they do the my team card. Gonna run game on it. When they're not selling enough, they're gonna drop some exclusive template builds so they can recover and get themselves right for their company they really trying to throw this hole under the under the bus okay so y'all make sure y'all watch this full video man we're gonna be reacting in me video okay head of the next maker okay he be having some inside information sometimes he be leaking speculating hey you know make sure y'all subscribe and like man let me know what you think and of course this is all if what he's saying is a hint for the future man if he's just making a speculation video then then it's whatever but if they really going down this path then i basically mean uh everything i say in this video who knows if it's gonna happen or not <laughs> this is not new to 2k because the nba 2k league they use template bills right? this is the beginning of the end of 2k bro y'all hear me this is the beginning of the end of 2k these casual negative win percent old heads who should be playing live had infiltrated the 2K community. They're finna ruin the game, my boy. I'm gonna tell you why. They have given up trying to make a balanced product. They have finally figured out that they are not good enough coders and developers to create a balanced game, guys. You wanna know the direction they're trying to go now? They're really trying to play God. Just like this year with shooting, they're trying to play God. Time that correctly, you will miss that sometimes. Even though shooting is extremely easy, sometimes they just make you miss that. Now, what they're doing, guys, from what I've heard, I haven't seen the full video, but from what I've heard, they're going to give us preset build with preset animation. And they're going to have the ability to take them animations and nerf them animation. You're still going to be buying builds, but you're not creating your build anymore. You're just buying a bunch of template builds like Apex, COD. Like, friends, you know, Apex, you pick a warrior, you pick a guy, all this and that. You just pick someone and you have their abilities and such. Y'all seen this year that they kept putting NBA template builds, creator builds. It's something that's coming in the future. Even if it's not this next 2K, could be 2K26, 2K27. I've heard these developers talk. They said that they've been working on 2K25 since 2K22. Oh, no, no, no. I actually, actually, they, they said that they they be working on games in the future like three years earlier. Like I, I heard a next maker say, 2k22 they were doing stuff for 2k24 same thing with 21 they're they're they set this up right if they do this right they're killing the game that y'all once loved dog isn't that crazy and all the i i hope they don't fool the casual negative win percent they're trying to break the whole game for five percent of players does that make sense to y'all for five percent of players that get freaky on the sticks they have given up with trying to patch certain moves and sh they've given up dog. Is that not wild to y'all? 2K about your my player? This could all be speculation. It could never happen. But y'all know, you know, they throwing little stuff in the community. You never know. If this true, this is a monstrosity. It's like, it's like the government, like, oh, we can't control crime. Now you can only go outside your home between 11 to 6. You go out any other time. Like, they're they're trying to like fame. Damn. Right? Everybody that watches the NBA 2K League, there are literally 10 to 15 different builds at each position that these pro players have to select from. They cannot uh -huh. customize it any way, shape, or form. And the reason being is because you want to make sure you have an even playing field all the way around, correct? <laughs> so by uh -huh. having every single person having to select from just these pool of players, you actually can create, in my opinion, in which I think universities accept it, a very neutral, um, unbiased, balanced um, build system because everybody's using the same builds, okay? Uh -huh. So again, that doesn't take away the fact that there's going to be some meta in that, all right? But so the way that this meta. works, and I can talk about how this can take away the meta. But th this is pathetic. There will always be meta. This is pathetic. There's a meta in the 2K League. They're all using the same type of preset build. But guys, this is pathetic, man. Y'all not see? They've given up. Instead of getting better developers, a better engine, 
they're trying to guys the 2k league is shit. they don't let them fly like us right even though this shit's nerfed like she nerfed that shit. what the f playing we not playing basketball what we playing casual ball what the f playing a little slow clunky you know they be banning animations and shit, bro. What the f going on? What the f is going on? These loser game grown up to love. They're taking it away from you. Fight back. What the f you doing? If this not some coward, sh Mike Wayne, quit, quit. If you so pathetic that you can't make a balanced game, that you gotta now do preset builds and preset animations, quit, quit. Get out of here, boy. What is this? What's happening? What is happening? Pathetic. As we begin, we can talk about Apex Legends and Call of Duty. Freeze. We can look at these template builds just like weapons in Apex and Call of Duty. When there's an overpowered weapon, or in this case, an overpowered build, guess what? You can nerf it. You can make some adjustments to it, okay? Maybe you take down some of the- So you gonna buy a template build for $80, $100, $150? They're gonna make you buy a bunch of template builds. Three point shooting. Maybe you take away some of the animations because each build, template build, is gonna be stocked with unique animations, dribble animations, jump shots, and of course, dunk animations or whatever animations are in the game, leaners and that type of Stop saying the N word. You think you sound cool. OG, oh, shut your b up, loser. I'm, you're a dweeb, loser. I would f you in real life. I say n because that's how I speak. That's how I grew up. I'm not saying it to sound cool. Leave. You don't belong here. You're not a part of my kind. You don't understand like me. You're sweet, soft, go diddle daddle. Wrong stream. My stream. I mean, you overuse it. New. Leave. You don't like it. Stop crying. Loser. I'm saying this too much. Stop. You're raised by a have no dad. Nick. That's why you behave like this. Find a father figure. Stop whining about a nigga on a video game at 1 a.m. You're a fine god. 24 hour that nigga boss. Get the stream. Nigga mad. You're, you're getting emasculated by a nigga playing a video game. Lame nigga. Leave crying about me saying to the highest altitude okay so by nerfing a build it could easily be like man this build is absolutely cracked right you know like the, this this sit the size up is just so overpowered you change the size up right and then the community automatically community has to y'all hear this they've given up so much that they're gonna give you preset builds preset animation and if something too freaky don't patch break that hole make you go buy another template build that's crazy yo is that shit not crazy Yes. What it does is the reason why we can't make adjustments now on NBA 2K when it comes to overpowered animations like the Patty Mill jump shot base, um, the Kimball Walker escape, or Steve Francis size, right? All these overpowered horrible animations deaths. is because people spend money on builds. And if some are we not going to spend money on template builds? What the what the fuck on? It's still going to be the same thing. Kimball Walker escape is too overpowered. How? What the fuck talking about, bro? They're just going to take all these animations we've had for years out the game. Like they're really trying to control y'all like that. Y'all don't y'all don't think that's crazy? They're just gonna break template builds, it's gonna make you buy more template builds. This is all a money scheme, right? That's crazy. This is crazy. And then and then they trying to they're trying to zone out the YouTubers more with the preset builds. Then YouTubers have less content to make, right? I mean, you still can the templates and stuff, but now more people will rely on the templates. They're trying to phase out the the people who be you know negative feedback about that game right they're already showing uh people like they dribble moves and stuff y'all see this everybody should be flaming 2k bro this is all by design this is crazy if this, if this is like really happening eventually little timmy spent you know 200 dollars to make the build because he wanted to make sure he got steve francis and then all of a sudden you nurse steve francis well you got yourself an issue so that's the reason why if you make a template build which everybody has already seen it works in the 2k league centers power forwards that type of deal each one will have their own unique bases animations and that type of sort and it's not going to be all on one person right so maybe steve francis is only going to be on one but that one person he might be smaller right you know so now you have to worry about six six overpowered builds there isn't going to be overpowered build because everything is kind of moved aside now here's the there's always going to be an overpowered question a lot of you going to be like well I want that super, I want to be able to have the, you know, all the animations, I want to have that type of deal. But this is where it comes to grind, okay? You got to grind for those things, okay? Now, again, I'm not the smartest man in the world, never claim to be, but again, this is open discussion, so I do look at the comment sections. So, let's say, for instance, you have these 15 to 20, you know, um, um, bills for each position, okay? But then, you know, you are able to, um, I guess you can work your way to adding additional badges to that build, but it takes a grind to do it, right? Not one of those my career grinds where you sit there all day and just play against the CPU and throw up 100 threes and, you know, no, no. You literally have to grind for it. Just like you do in Apex and Call of Duty, you have to get, like, to upgrade these weapons, you have to do a lot of different things in the process of playing the game, not playing against CPUs, right? It's just a process of playing. Guys, does this sound cool or horrible to y'all? I know since it sounds new, I don't see why this just can't be a separate mode. Like imagine 
You spend a hundred dollars on a bill, you don't have your badges? Bro, isn't that crazy? Homer, nah, bro, he leaking stuff, bro. You know, th this could be a future 2K or, you know, this head of the next maker. She could be speculation or, you know, but th this could be a real thing, a real direction that they go. Cause like COD ranked, for instance, like a lot of games are already built like this, but this is my player, bro. It's crazy. And it takes time to where you can eventually accumulate, you know, that Trey Young escape or whatever yeah, it might be. Black. Maybe it's not the uh, dribble animation. Maybe it's just about you had a lockdown, but now you're working your way towards getting that lockdown ability to be able to shoot, right? So that's what I'm talking about, where you can make those adjustments, you can make those um, enhancements, you can nerf, you can buff, you can do all that. And that to me will create a very, very competitive environment because now if 2K is seeing something that's overpowered, you can nerf it and the community is not going to be in an uproar. Like for right now, they would be in an uproar. Yeah. Why, why wouldn't they be in an uproar if there's template build? If they nerf some, they would still be in an up, right? I'm I'm missing this point. Y'all 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 educate me. Oh, uh, again, I said in my last video, the car 98 is absolutely cracked, right? But you know, eventually there will be a nerf on that. There'll be a nerf, and then again there'll be another weapon, or there'll be a batch of weapons that will be good. So remember, look at player models like weapons in the game. Make adjustments to those player models. Make adjustments on the shooting attributes as each season goes by, or make hot patches real quick to fix certain things to keep it balanced. And I guarantee you, you're going to see so many different builds on the park, in the you know wreck, in the pro -end. Why? Because there's going to be so much adjustments and based upon play styles, right? Slashing, shooting, right? Just because now, just because you're a sharp shooter, you might not have the best dribble six. Maybe the slashers have the best dribble six, but the slashers they can't shoot as well. You see what I'm saying? So you can make that. So they're just talking about making all builds just playmaker you can't shoot or slash really slasher you can't really shoot how y'all feel about that you don't have to buy a template build for everything so the game can go and become even more expensive and imagine if they're in that season pass they got exclusive for certain template build damn this sound horrible you no know, he talking about with template builds 16 you were two-way players bro. all builds were two-way players you could all play defense and play off 17 you know you know but you you still had like superstar the playmaker build you could still get busy that was the most popular build for goddamn stage at least damn bro. and then you'll you know so crazy every time 2k implements something it's always horrible like it's never done good it's it's never like it's never like legit like think about it guys when they added the badge regression right so bad and they gave they gave up me you don't even have to worry about your badges when's the last time y'all worried about your badge he just made it to where you could basically keep them all right like it's like everything they implement it ain't good like it don't it don't be working bro balance to where now again everybody's making six sixes they don't really care about the defense like there's just a lot of things that are just broken in the game to where people take advantage of it but when you have that like a 2k league guess what you will have a more balanced environment again that's just my opinion and again opinions are like everybody has one but that is what i'm talking about okay now <laughs> What you can do for each season is you can add new template builds every season. So let's say you had 10, 15 point guard builds, but guess what? You know, for that theme. Do y'all hear this, guy? Every season, new template builds just like they're already doing. But now you can't make your own builds. You basically, it encourages you to buy these template builds. Do y'all like, like the control being out your hands like that? Do y'all like that, bro? That's just crazy. Like they just, they just praying on you. Like, yeah. It's like that my team like you know how they release certain cards and, and you see how they be doing the my team imagine they do that with 2k right they they're lacking in micro transactions for a little bit then they just start dropping out these crazy nba template so like oh i'm gonna buy this i gotta buy this template build bro y'all don't think that's like a they're just finessing you bro like they they're, they're doing you bad like they just arching you just mm, 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 like like they they get them my team cats crazy like hundred overall 99 99 diamond blazer pika pikachu art they're gonna be doing that with the template they set up like bro that that's crazy think about it i don't know what if this happened this is crazy bro or whatever you can add a like i don't know a damian lawyer type point guard or like a kobe bryant s type template build right you can add that each season just like how, you know, Apex, Call of Duty, they add their new skins and that type of stuff, or they add new weapons, right? We will add new template players throughout the season, okay? Yeah. And, of course, you can have, just like in those games, you have special weapons you can purchase. Guess what? They can have special template builds. That Yo, 
Otto, thanks for the sub. Make sure y'all subscribe. You can just spend VC on and purchase. Remember, this is just because we want it free to play. We want it to where regardless, you can get on the game, don't spend a dollar, and be able to play in the park on a 99 template build. Just like on Call of Duty, you can hop on there, you can get a bare bone gun, right? All their guns and stuff, you know, they don't have anything going. But what's funny, and again, this is what I'm thinking, we all know in Call of Duty, when you get onto the game and you're playing Warzone or you're playing that, whatever, and you see how they have like the default weapons, like they have a default setup for you already, but it has all the attachments on, that type of deal. You can do the same thing here. Bro, I doubt. They will get full attached. And you gotta buy a template. Or what if your template's just so bad? Man, Real exposing the fake. Real, I don't know, bro. Like, what if, what if, what if, like, the template's just so bad that it's basically, like, enticing? Guys, they would only implement this if they know they would make way more money. I do want this hoe to be free to play. It should be free to play no matter what. It'll increase the user base, all that, but it's crazy. In 2K, you can just be able to have like default players that might have certain type of special badges. Now, I don't want to talk fast, but I do talk fast. But if you remember my previous video I did yesterday, I spoke on the fact that you can get special badges and emblems, just like in, in Call of Duty and Apex, they have like different color skins on guns and that type of deal. Well, I talked about having like the strap guide, you know, emblem badge, like a special headband, or you can get like a special banner or emblem in your banner to where it says you're a strap guide. Honestly, you done introduced this to uh, the 2K you're part of the downfall it's uncle demi man. i don't know whose idea it was it might not have been his idea but it's a red flag for the community my boy this is crazy bro but not only that maybe it gives you enhancing abilities right by being a strap guy you have to earn it though you have to hit a certain amount of steals blocks get a couple amount of stops body ups that type of deal that will give me the ability to grind same thing as you've seen this video my guy just stumbled maybe you want to be you know you want to have like this ankle breaker you want to be known like hot sauce like have like a hot sauce or and one like mixtape type of flair and by doing a certain amount of ankle breakers or like you know whatever you're able to get special animations special ankle breaker animations animations ankle breaker animation that actually will cause you to fall on the floor right just it, like the potential for something like this is endless the the problem with i'm just sounding to y'all man Look, the problem with 2K is if you are going to add something like this to the game, you don't take away what we've already had into. It needs to be new. Like, for instance, these damn seasons, they're hiding SIGs and jump shot we've always had every year. Here. Why not create new SIGs we've never had? Like, if you just giving us ankle animations that we used to have and now you're just taking them away, just making us some weak ass build, like, I don't know, bro focused on fun how can 2k still monetize off of it but that's where that's up to 2k to figure that out okay 2k figures out how you can monetize it right where you can make the game fun again give us a lot of choices free to play entry and you can just get on the game you can play if you don't have the money to it and then for the grinders you're able to grind out and just imagine listen i can guarantee you this if you get special animations emblems takeovers and stuff by grinding the game um and of course you know mixing in the vc into it i guarantee you someone like myself that tapped out a long time ago on the game because i stopped playing um because i just felt like you know it just wasn't you don't play because this y'all still pushing it hey emmy I used to play with Demi a little bit. Nigga, he used to play way more than like these these newer 2Ks, but y'all still pushing this. You don't even like it, nigga. So it's like, what what are we doing? Like we we just trying to nerf the talented, but like I like the game and never play that hole? I don't get it. He used to play way more in, in 20 and 19. Now nearly play. All the niggas trying to push 2K a certain way don't even play the bit. I don't see him live. They don't, they not even playing the bit. I don't understand. What else was there for me to do? I felt like it just wasn't enough there for me to get excited about and grind for. I guarantee you a lot more people will do that. For one, you have a lot of casuals in the community playing. So you have a lot of the casuals running around just playing the game for fun. You know, they, they get on A2K for a couple hours, they get off, they play Fortnite, they get off. Like, you know, you have that type of deal. And you have those batch of people or that maybe just say, you know what, I don't play the game because I just don't have the money. I don't have that much type of money to spend into it. You know, the young, the mom and dad, or parent, you're like, yo, I can't just put $400 in this game. Now, all of a sudden, you get those individuals, they're putting more hours in the game now because now they're able to cook with grease. You see what I'm saying? They're able to play that game off rip. Now, all of a sudden, we get a bigger pool of people to play against, right? You get more different types of builds and uniqueness. So to me, I think it's a win win for every single um, person that's playing the game you see what i'm saying now i spoke on like how template builds can be grinded towards getting badges and perks like like weapons you see what i'm saying so again i feel like i keep saying template builds i don't want y'all to get confused when i say template like how it was where it's like you know in 2k23 where you know you got like the kobe bryant and said like mamba or mamba where like that or where, you know you had like the green thing flash upon you had that or right now we have like the you know community builds and template builds right now what i'm saying is is that you can grind those to be able to get those um those template builds. I'm still saying templates. I think that's the best way to say it. You can grind them. Now, again, you can still get your legendary, you know, Steph Curry, shoot from three, nine, nine, three, whatever. It's just going to, you just gonna have to grind for it though. You're gonna have to grind for it. Just like, you know, hey man, the car, it ain't, it ain't overpowered at first. The AK-47, it ain't, it ain't overpowered at first. You gotta grind all those attachments. So same thing. Your, your template build is gonna be basic off rip. It's gonna be basic. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be basic. But if you wanna be- How do y'all like that? How do y'all like that, bro? Randoms. How do, how do, how do, how do y'all like that? What, what does that sound like to y'all? Like they were to do something like this if they make you pay a hundred dollars for 
just some trash gun i mean bro they better not take you full 100 until you max that up. what you start off as a low overall or something you gotta work them up i don't know i don't i don't see it i don't see it bro i can really see them able to have you know these um not just badges that we always get but if you want to be able to get the attributes for right like you know you know right now you're simply build you like you know it's a point guard at 63 you want to have steph curry but the ball handle might only be an 80 the three ball might only be like a 90 so you want to really get that steph curry type feel or maybe you want to go a little bit further and get like a john morant and you want to kind of you, know, you have to grind to get that kind from them those elite contact dunks you see what i'm saying but everything is uh, attainable to be able to max those out now remember all the work and sweat equity you put into that it doesn't go away so you can keep grinding on that point guard build getting whatever you want and then of course what this just sound isn't this like what we already got like so it's like are they gonna push us to an even lower point i don't know man you know maybe you have like you know some days you have to be a lockdown so you can kill, still grind on that lockdown build and just know your play style maybe you know and to be able to get these special animations and takeovers and it's just like your weapons you know you use your card you might be able to get a scope on it and then you know the next game you know you want to play with your shoddy so you know you can continue to do those things and still be able to get go back and forth between these different type of templates that you have it's just again to me i feel like free to play entry and just adding what's not broken we've seen how all these other games are so popular and they don't release new game every year so 2k is like well i saw someone in the comment section said well if it's if you know they 2k is making so much money off the initial purchase of the hard copy or the purchase of the download so 2k will never do that no just call the game nba 2k and then every single new year you download a dlc pack that costs 55 60 dollars duh there you go you still able to make 2k is going to save money off the like you know like to me just be just having individuals just download and update to me sounds more cost effective um and you know you don't have to worry about all the illustration art and all the other type of stuff you just download a new freaking you know each season or you know every year just a new download people are used to doing that now on fortnite apex call of duty like these okay would never do this some some of this gotta be like speculation or maybe all you know they're always gonna release a yearly game bro that's why they're leaders in the micro that's just how people are built they always hear it's a new one every year you know they don't have confidence in their product, man. They don't they don't have good development. It's not like no Rainbow Six they could just drop and you know? And then it, it then it's like with the NBA season, so they could really just keep these main player games, man, it ain't no Apex four, five, six, and it's just Apex. So just call 2K 2K and download the DLC pack every single first of all you can download this every new season every you know every six eight weeks you download the new season we do that already and then you know when the nba season's over with every september individuals just download a big dlc you see what i'm saying so 2k still able to get that money off that we don't have to worry about buying new copies of the game we just do, do, do a new download and keep it chugging along um keep the same templates for players just refresh the templates you see what i'm saying just like how they do in a game right or you can do like apex the, the, the weapons are the same every single time and you continue to add that's new good, content so. to it and to me i think that's the better bet just keep you know the templates the same throughout the remainder of the years just add new content add new template builds so eventually you know you might have 30 different point guard builds that you can pick from but there's a base and you can continue to add animations nerf animations buff animations to me i feel like that would be the best bet for these template builds so you still have the ability listen we've been playing with pie charts and all that stuff for the longest 2k league for ever since day one have been playing with these builds and it has caused you know individuals to really lose their ability their skills you see so many different lineups because of that and i feel like that would translate really well for bro i'd be seeing the 2k the same stuff right am i tripping who, who watches the 2k league who knows Aren't they all like picking the, haven't they always like picked the same presets in general, usually, right? Then they have like the same play styles, right? Does anybody watch the 2K League in the stream? Has anyone seen it? Has anyone watched it? They all play the same. Yeah, like aren't they all using the Duncan build and some using the layup? But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah, we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.